make sure somewhere in the chicken crap top scribbling doodling. Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Willard Jim Sauce and I am back with another video. This is the first episode of New Account from Scratch, episode 1. If you guys are excited as I am for the series, feel free to leave a like down below, show the video some support, and uh, you know, without further ado, let's just get into it. So, I told you guys I wanted to make the first episode a little bit longer, and this is um, a different approach to the videos that might be happening in the future. Uh, right now, these are clips uh, that were already recorded, pre-recorded, on the first night of me playing. Um, something that I've always done, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed it or not, um, but you guys on YouTube, you guys always get the first, you know, the first episode, you guys always get the, the, the first, like, starting of the series, um, before the streams do. So, although some of you guys watch both the streams and the videos, um, yesterday on stream, I played a ton, there's a ton new progress, and I have a bunch more recorded. Uh, you guys, this is something that has been unseen, like, this, this is the very first beginning footage of me having nothing, and this is all, you know, to you guys, so, uh, I guess you're welcome for that, you guys always get, like, the first, you know, glimpse of it, but, new account from scratch, let's get started, um, and also, in future videos, I might be doing, um, as far as recording, this is already recorded, I'm recording over it, I might do, like, real-time audio, um, with future clips, that's something that I would want to do, and that also leads into, you know, longer videos, because I'm just gonna be getting clips and clips and clips, and there's gonna be a bunch of these videos, there's gonna be a bunch of progress videos, so, I don't know, I'm just excited about the account, I just really enjoy it, I was having so much fun playing it uh, the other day, but anyways, let's get into the video, so first off, when I started, I wanted to unlock a few lodestones, which I did, um, I feel like unlocking the lodestones is something that you kind of need to do, as far as transportation, especially early level, because you're not going to be teleporting places uh, with your magic level, and I don't have money right away to spend on uh, tabs, I, I, I gotta spend money on other things, so I figured, you know what, let me unlock the lodestone and then let me go over to the evergreens and let me just start chopping all right quick levels easy um normal logs have always been worth a little bit more than oak logs and i figured you know what this is going to be something that is good for me um it's something that's going to be good for the account overall so that's what i decided to do so get some logs start chopping get a few levels here and there and uh you know really just start some progress on the account also, something that I should have stated in the beginning of the video is that this account is not an Iron Man. I know a few people have been wondering on stream, actually a lot of people wondering on stream, you know, is it an Iron Man? Why not an Iron Man? Um, like I said in the previous video that you guys already saw, so most of you guys are going to know this, but for any new viewers, um, I just wasn't really feeling the whole Iron Man thing. I feel like the people who are doing Iron Man are already killing it themselves, and you kind of let them, you know, take on that territory. And personally, I didn't find Iron Man that, you know, um enthralling i guess i didn't really want to you know make my account iron man i'd rather just start fresh on an account and pretty much roll with what i'm doing now and that's what i really enjoy um also you guys are really wondering the name the name in game mr socks yes mr socks literally people on stream took every single name that i wanted it, it was all taken it was gone and mr socks was the only thing that wasn't taken and i don't know i was feeling mr socks so just leave me alone on that one. And the end goal for this account, people are wondering, well, what's the goal? Why do you want to make this? Pretty much just, you know, be the best. Just be the best there ever was, all right? I just want to go hard on this account. Just, you know, get skills, level up, do quests, uh, get achievements done, unlock weapons. Just everything, man. Just, it's going to be crazy. So here I just wanted to unlock another load zone uh, real quickly, the Varrock one, and then I headed over to the GE. I got a full inventory of logs, and I debated on just fire making them and getting some more levels, but I realized, you know what, no, normal logs, they're actually worth a decent amount, I might as well go for it. And then my mindset here is because uh, my friend Joe, at Remembership, you guys may know him, um, he also made a new account with me, so we're both working on these accounts somewhat together in a way. Um, and he, he gave me the idea of, why not keep on leveling up woodcutting, keep on getting these logs, sell the logs for a little bit more money so you can buy a rune hatchet, because when you put a rune hatchet, even if you don't have the level to use it, slash wield it, you can put it in your tool belt, and once you level up, like say I level up to 6, and then 11, and then 21, and then 31, I can use, you know, the, the steel, the mithril, the adamant, I can use those hatchets, it'll actually use them in place of the rune, until I can actually use the rune, so, I was like, okay, very smart idea, let me just grab that real quick, throw it in the tool belt, um, later on, uh, not in these episodes, but I'm actually gonna do that as well with the rune pickaxe, because it's pretty much like a really smart idea, because, 
instead of you spending time going back to the GE and purchasing, you know, the pickaxe over and over again, just get the highest tier one, which really isn't worth that much, throw it in the tool belt so you have it for the future, and you also have it for the early level. So that's what really made the most sense to me, and that's what I ended up doing. So that is what you're going to see me do in a second. Uh, so my second inventory logs, and I believe I do by uh, Dubai. I believe I do by the Rune Hatchet here. Yeah, Rune Hatchet right there. And yeah, that's only 7k. So honestly, like that is just the, the most simplest thing I've done in my entire life. So um, you guys are going to see in the next clip, hopefully coming up soon. Yes, I'm at the museum. So I brought it up. I was like, hey, listen, Joe, we should probably head over to the museum, uh, get these little quizzes done quickly so we can unlock, you know, some quick levels. Because going to the Varrock Museum and completing these, this is a quick uh, nine hunter and nine slayer. So not only is that helpful, especially for a hunter, because, dude, starting off with a hunter, catching those birds on the beach, that is one of the, like, most annoying things in the world. So just getting that extra levels there, uh, especially with Slayer, because I do move on to Slayer eventually uh, in the next episode you will see. Super, super helpful. So had to get that done ASAP. So I'm just going to quickly finish up this question, and then, yes, so I'm going to go talk to Orlando. This, this is my man, Orlando Bloom. All right, I might say smithing game, this is Orlando Bloom to me. All right, I just want to feel special for a second. So bang, 9 Hunter, 9 Slayer, that should be popping up. Making gains like a boss. All right, we just, we had to get into it. You guys, you're going to be proud of me for this one. All right, you guys are going to be real proud of me for this next clip once it pops up. You were just not going to be expecting me to hop right into this, but we did. I was like, listen, man, if there's one thing we got to do, one thing, we need to hop on Waterfall Quest. Waterfall Quest is so helpful, and it's so easy, too. Not only is it a lot better, because um, on Old School, if you guys remember, oh my god. Going on Old School and doing this Waterfall Quest, you know, back when Old School was released, people were just everywhere inside the tomb trying not to get smacked up for a 10 trying not to get one hit by the moss giants by the skeletons so much better on rs3 it was still very spooky there were still a few times where i almost died um on the unrecorded clips like me running through and you know grabbing the pebble grabbing the key everything like that i was pretty low but we kept the the single cake that was given to me on this game, or not given to me when you start off you start off with that cracker and i pulled it and i got a, a yellow cape a wizard's hat a bronze sword and a cake I kept that cake with me, and I guarded it with my life. That thing was there to save me if I was in danger, if need be. It was just, it, it was just a crazy experience. It was fun because I was reliving a lot of stuff, which is why I'm doing this series a lot. It's just to relive like these old, just old times. And oh my God, these updated quests, man! These updated quests are crazy. I did not expect some of these quests to be the way they were. You guys are gonna see a lot of questing. Um, in the next video as well the next video is a lot more action-packed this is the like the the base new recording basically for you guys this is something that I knew I was gonna have to do for you guys cuz you guys like I said you guys always get the first content this is the bare minimum basics that I needed and then I think here I had to chop a few more logs so that I didn't have enough for a games necklace I got my rope I got everything else, but I needed, I got a few more levels, but I needed another inventory logs to buy a games necklace, because for some reason those are like, you know, 1.3 bill. Yeah, so just a few more logs here, and then I'm heading over to the GE now. Um, had to buy the games necklace, and you guys are going to see me start the quest. It's pretty much going to go start to finish. That's basically the way I want to record it. I didn't really feel that like there was a need to uh, record the quest themselves, like actually me going through the entire thing, because uh, that would just be way too crazy, but... Yes, we knew this is something we wanted to do, so here I am starting it. I only failed one time. I failed towards the end of the quest. Instead of me using my rope on the tree, I just clicked on the tree, and I fell down, and it hurt. I fell into the water, and I didn't like that too much. But um, also, I want to take the time out now to kind of just ask you guys a few questions. Um, exactly what would you like to see specifically in the videos? The way that I've been recording them, you guys will see in tomorrow's video or the next video, is I've been really just recording as I get the level or as I complete something which speaking about that now this video has been um, as far as just leveling um, it's been a little more I'd say drawn out with the leveling than next video and next video is like the next recorded clip that I have is like 26 minutes long and that was just like from from the bare like leveling up and you know completing things so that's just saying how much progress was done on that i'm just guys i don't even know i'm just excited to release this for you guys it's just something that i'm just very very happy that i'm doing and it, it's just great it really is 
So you guys are going to see here that I'm just putting on my last earth runes to basically complete the quest. Um, very, very easy quest. You guys are going to see the level ups from the end of this. If you guys don't know um, anything, you guys are new beginners to the game. This is also going to be a really good series for you guys to watch. Um, because this is me, you know, from scratch, from everything. Me going to town on just, you know, the account itself. So... Um, if you guys, I know I get a lot of questions, hey, yo, Will, hey, Jim, like, how do you, how do you make money? How did you do this when you were this level? Well, I'm going to show you now, like, this is, this is how it's going to happen. Although, some of the methods have changed since I've been, you know, a noob. Granted, I've been a noob my entire life, but, um, you know, I, some of these things, I, like, I wouldn't do waterfall quests at this lower level. Like, th there was no way I would have done that back in the day, but bang, 30 attack. 30 strength, making games in the world, and like, really dude, this set me off with combat. This has totally been like, Waterfall Quest is a great starting point for you to really get off your feet and and do something that you need to do, because um, at level 3, I think it was, like, I was actually able, well, I didn't take it on, my friend Joe at level 3 was able to take on a guard at level 3, which is just, I mean, that's saying something, but just being able to start off with this has been just a really good jump start. Oh yes, the treasure keys. So treasure under keys have been uh, a bit of a problem for me. Not really a super problem, but um, when I get things and I look at them, because at this time I was on a level one defense. So if I were to take this large fallen star, I would have to keep it in my inventory until I would use it. So I decided, I believe I cash out on this defense one, because at the time, like I said, I was only level one, um, and I ran into problems with me getting treasure key tokens because at low levels like this. Leveling up is, is, it's pretty easy in a sense as far as, you know, just getting the levels over and over again. And um, I know it's like, it's little XP, but it's still, it's still fairly fast. Um, so that's why I thought, well, why not just wait? Like, I'll cash out on that and I'll try to save my prismatics and I'll try to save my keys until I'm a little higher level. Because then me putting the bonus XP in a skill like that would be more beneficial. It scales with the level you're at. So... I wanted to hold off on that, so after completing some quests in next video, ev the more exciting everything is in next video because that's when more progress happens. That's when a lot more stuff happens. This is, like I said, this is just the very beginning, but I have like, I think 18 keys saved up and I got like a few treasure key tokens and I can't use them because you can only have up to five before you can't use the tokens anymore. So. I was in a breaking point. I had to destroy it because I wanted to start do I wanted to start doing dungeoneering and I couldn't go inside there with my key token. So I had to use the stuff. As as well as when I had to do some other quests, I had to use my prismatics because I couldn't take it along with me. And it was very it was just a very sad day. Alright, it was just very sad times for Will. But um, now I started to do agility, and for some reason I can't. Oh, we wanted to get 20 wood agility so I can use the, the underground tunnel between the GE and Edgeville, so I can load stone to Edgeville, run over, tunnel into the GE as you know, basically quick transportation. Uh, still, without trying to spend money on unnecessary things that I don't need yet. Um, another thing that I was having issues with is people wanted me to get my wicked hood, which I did, but they wanted me to use the talismans on it and get it upgraded and do all that stuff so I could have more altars but at the time I was only level one one rune crafting so it wouldn't make sense for me to do it yet plus me buying all those talismans would literally like empty my entire cash stack at the moment so that just wasn't a good idea for me to start off with so I ended up not doing that but I did end up training rune crafting I want to tell you guys where I'm at right now but I also want to save it for like a secret for next video so you guys can see and be surprised because we made some gains my friends we made we made some gains so here I just wanted to jump clips because it was just me doing agility and I know how I know how exciting agility is for you guys to watch but I decided to just take that out. Um, I was lucky enough to, actually I have a decent amount of strange rocks now, but I was also lucky enough to get the talent scout uh, so I can kind of gain my levels a little bit quicker. So 21 agility was achieved so I can, you know, hop on through that tunnel of glorious, that sounded a little weird. Um, I'm gonna take it though, I'm gonna keep that. Uh, activating the edge of a lodestone, just, it, it's a must. And then, I think here, I was just kind of selling the unneeded stuff in my bank to see kind of where my cash stack was. I didn't need the myth seeds, I didn't need the gold bars, I didn't need the diamonds, so, ended up selling that, and I believe that is wrapping up for this video. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like down below. I'm so excited to bring this to you guys, it's just, it's been a pleasure. I'm having so much fun with this account. And uh, next episode is legit like mountainous gains. It's just it's just gonna be crazy. So 
Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and take it easy, guys. Peace.